One of the biggest games of the 2015 season took place Friday night at Fisher Memorial Field, where third-ranked Medfield hosted number two Duxbury. My name is Bruce Lurch. Let's show you how what turned into an instant classic played out. Duxbury fired the first salvo as Harrison Piper carries in and dumps down to Matt Sharp, who spins and fires just over a minute into the game. Medfield's turn now, and it's Matt Treber working from Gretzky's office. Treber tries to roll, takes a hit, but eventually finds some room and fires in low to high to even things up. Normally a scorer, let's watch Boston University commit John McClain show off his passing skills. As he finds Kevin McCordick all the way across the field, McCordick steps right into his shot to give his team a 2-1 lead. The Warriors would get a man up late in the frame, and here's McClain again, drawing the defense with him and finding Sam Hurley as he fills the hole. And Hurley bounces one in to give his team a 3-1 lead at the end of the first quarter. Medfield was man up again early in the second quarter. This time it's Hurley feeding McLean for the big snipe. Niall Dillon would put an end to Medfield's four-goal run. He works hard to get his hands free, and then he goes high to low to get Duxbury back on the board. Both teams traded goals through to halftime. Here's McCordick again with another laser of a shot. And then the Dragons come back as Piper finds Brendan Duffy off a dodge for a clean look at the cage. And finally, David Fitzgerald finds McLean on the backside for a lefty shot from a tough angle. And that would give Medfield a 6-3 lead to take into halftime. This one could have been a lot different if not for the stellar play from Medfield goalie Kyle Gately, who made seven big saves in the first half, and he would finish with 13 in the game. Let's hear it from the Warriors' first-year starter in the cage. I can't, can, I can't attribute all of my like saves to just myself. I mean, I have to say, it's my defensemen. They're, uh, you know, gi they're giving me the shots that I like to take from out outside, and uh, I love that. Back to action in the second half. And you just had to know the Dragons were going to make a run, and they did exactly that. First, it's Piper with a rocket from 10 yards out on man up. Then Shane Sullivan dodges, rolls himself back, and eventually finds some room to shoot. That goal would cut the deficit to 6-5. to five. Medfield gets one back as Nigel Reef spies McCordick for another bullet, his third. But the Dragons weren't done yet as a well-defended Dillon still manages to get his hands free in the box. And he scores to pull his team within a goal at 7-6 heading into the fourth quarter. Check out this hustle play by Warriors pull Will Murphy. As he comes up with a big ground ball to keep, help his team keep possession. And eventually the ball works around to Treber, who spies McLean up high, and he fires one home to keep it at a two-goal midfield lead. Duxbury always finds a way to rally. Tonight would be no exception. Grant Garrity comes up with a hustle play of his own and starts transition. It ends with Dillon carrying it all the way in and feeding it over to Quinn O'Connor for a big rip, and that would make it an 8-7 game. Now it's Shane Sullivan again. He's battled injuries for the better part of the last two years. He works his way all the way down to the crease and sticks one just over Gately's head. And that goal ties the game at 8-8 eight to eight with just 2 minutes and 18 seconds left in regulation. So many teams over the years have simply folded up in the face of a Dragons comeback. But Medfield wasn't going to be one of those teams on this night. Watch here as Hurley fires one off the far post. And king of the little things that win games for teams, Nigel Reef collects a huge ground ball, and he feeds McCordick, who unleashes an absolute rocket that puts his team back in front with just a minute and 15 seconds remaining. Duxbury would win the ensuing faceoff, and they took a timeout with 52 seconds left. The Dragons would get three more cracks at it. But Medfield was able to hold strong and they would storm the field to celebrate their first ever victory over the Dragons with a 9-8 win. We always stress uh, playing instant offense. I uh, we practice it every day. Um, and we just got to get up and move the ball quick, and that's what we did, and it opens up shots. You know, we've been looking forward to this moment since, what, maybe sixth grade? And I don't know, I've been... I've been looking forward to this my whole high school career, high school career. So, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of similar to winning the state championship. I mean, you can't get a better game than that. Duxbury, one goal game with a minute left, unbelievable.